Hey everybody, all right, it's uh, Jerry here, and uh, uh, this out in here, we're just uh, hitting a local pond, lake, whatever you want to call it, impoundment, and uh, doing some freshwater fishing, a little bit of everything uh, freshwater-wise in this video. A lot of crappie, a lot of perch, some pickerel, and I think I picked out a little tiny bass too. Oh, here's the bass here. I started fishing off with uh, some lagers, lager flies. This is actually a, a, a brim fry that I'm using. I think it's about a size 6. It could be a size 8. Um, hook sizes are kind of uh, vary between manufacturers. But I started fishing with uh, the brim, but I did switch over to uh, another fly in a little bit. And uh, the response was uh, pretty much so excellent. But uh, going back and forth in the day here, and he just inhaled that. So let me uh, work on getting this here fly out and I'll talk to you guys quick a bit more about uh, this day and this season. Um, I want to talk a little bit about this time of season. Um, I call it late winter, early spring. You're kind of in between and those transition periods are tricky. Um, a lot of times you're going to have golden days where you just hit fish like uh, this one. And you're going to have days where you might not catch any or you're going to have days like the previous one. Uh, where you had a couple of fish but this is the lager here that i was using and uh it's called the brim fly and i think i'm gonna be switching up i believe i threw on a green over yellow and i had a response and i went to a green over yellow clouser fly and uh, i stuck with that for a good long while and uh started picking up fish um right away you know uh the perch were pretty willing to bite um, that and here is I think I fish most of the outing with this here fly here the fish really went nuts for it I was watching them shoot across from the other side towards the fly it was pretty wild um, and you have that and I stuck with this for a while till things slowed up but uh, it's a light clouser size 6 um, it has bead chain eyes and uh, large bead chain eyes I would call them size 6 hook green over white you can tie a little bucktail on that hook and whatnot you're gonna catch fish it's all how you work the fly in front of them but here's another golden yellow perch beautiful fish and a nice size perch they get a bit bigger than this but these are beauties right here and then after this the uh, crappie started to move in also they were hitting the green clouds with the same veracity I really like this time of year. There's there's a bit going on. You have to work a, a bit around, and you're gonna hit slow no days, and you're gonna hit you know fast furious days. You might hit some big fish or a lot of small fish, but there's always something to do. And uh, actually, uh, I think this is around close to open a day trout stocking. And I spoke to a couple of guys. They said they were killing them in a few of the creeks or. Uh, rivers, uh, not rivers, creeks and streams, I guess you can call them rivers, um, but I tend to avoid that and I let things settle down and I got a few places in mind that I might fish for trout this week and uh, trout opening day sometimes can just be plum crazy. Um, opening day for trout actually it's a great time if you're new to fishing because um, you have that golden period where they're just willing to bite and they're just stacked up. Um, if you get them right after they stock them within a week, uh, some people got to pinpoint it down to a science um, when they know where these trout are going to be stocked and and um, most vulnerable to be caught. But it's a great time if you're new to fishing. Um, uh, you know, opening day is a great time to fish in a lot of places. Uh, they, they vary the schedule. They don't exactly tell you the exact times they're going to stock trout. Mm, they're still actively, they'll stock them through the month. Um, so uh, sometimes you can avoid all that chaos and still hit those willing fish ready to bite. Um, I, I'm not really looking for that. Oh, this is here is the, uh, that's the clouser. Um, big eyes, green over yellow. Just, uh, just did a spectacular job. The, the fish were just keying in on this um, fly just as it hit the water. It's just so you got those three ingredients. You got uh, the fish there, the fish are willing to bite, and you got something that they're just keying in on. 
I just um, the goal factor in fishing um, everything you know some all comes together and it just seems too easy so just enjoy the moment and catch a few fish I'm um, just uh, I think I'm sitting down here just enjoying <laughs> enjoying the late after uh, late early evening late afternoon you know there's a couple of transition times um, the time of year the time of day and uh, this uh, crappies are hitting like crazy I'm gonna pick up a few more here and uh, just a good solid late winter early spring fishing I think I'd mentioned uh, a moment ago about transition and uh, transitions all over changes are a big thing that uh, you like to fish and I think there's three of them going on here if not four um, there's a transition in the time of day there's a transition in the time of year there's even a transition in the cover the overhead cover of the, the above me um, it's a sunny cloudy day those you know so you got that overcast you got sunshine you got that time of year and um, the time of day um, probably a few hours before dusk and um, all those things kind of come together so we like to think we all come up with our wacky fishing theories and that's just one of mine and uh, back on the perch you know sometimes they, they'll hard press an area they could be tight-lipped the perch sometimes but then they'll open up to you and sometimes those crappie are moving in and out too uh, so the perch might lay low and also there's probably predators out there I'm sure there are because I think I'm about to pick up a, a little little pick roll here you're always gonna get they're always gonna be wallowing around those those uh, schools of fish and a little pick roll like this will easily swallow uh, a hole, one of those there perch hole even a crappie this video is on YouTube you can see underwater they got tremendous mouths and heads and they'll uh, hold on to that fish and slowly swallow and digest it so you're gonna get those pickle mixed in too and they'll hang around these here crappie and uh, they'll snap on anything that the crap crappie are snapping on but uh, solid solid bite you know um, good fishing um, good uh, late season early spring fishing that's uh, uh there's the big one i think that was the big crappie of the day and uh i think i'm about to get going here but well i believe i pick up a pick row, um in the day and it was a decent one and he snapped i think i would i actually switched over to a yellow white clouser but i'm gonna get going um just wanted to swap some notes say hi uh, show that this time of year is a great time to fish um, they're loading up a lot of the streams now with trout get out trout fishing and uh, great great way to get out and you know we warm water fishing well it's cold out but they call this warm water fishing get out and do this too but uh, thanks again for watching please like dislike subscribe to the channel or not and uh, comment uh, whatever you have to say good bad um, anything uh, we try to get back to all of them love them all and uh, remember always fish your way and thanks again for watching have a great night afternoon evening day um, whatever, whatever it is and I'll see you next time and thanks again for watching